Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily and I'm here with the version two of one of my personal favorite pedals. Let me adjust this microphone. I have a really nice um, blue spark SL microphone. I wanted to make sure it's in a good spot. <laughs> um, but yes, my name is Emily. This is Get Offset. And this is an American Professional 2 Series Jazz Master. Uh, you're hearing it through a Strymon Iridium on the round B setting. And this is the Delavid Foster Wallace. Ooh. It's by Bookworm Effects by Brian Sprague out of uh, West Virginia. And I love his pedals. They are all literary themed. And I'm just very much into that. And my favorite of his is the Delavid Foster Wallace. It has so far, I should say, so far. But um, you might have seen the DFW, the original DFW was one of the first demos I ever did on this channel. That's true, you can look it up. And um, it was a big staple on my live rig back when live shows were a thing. Uh, after after the shutdown and COVID shutdown touring and everything, I loaned my DFW to my singer Jenna, and uh, she's been putting it to good use. And I reached out to Brian and I said, "Hey, do you have any more of those? Because I kind of want to give mine to Jenna." And Brian said, "There's a V2 coming," and then he sent it to me. So uh, this is the I've bought every single one of his other pedals. So this is the first one that I'm doing um, because he sent me the pedal. The rest are because I bought them. But it's a delay pedal. Very simple time. Regen is feedback. Mix is wet dry mix. I'm going to turn that up some. Then we have the infinite hold button because this pedal is obviously named after David Foster Wallace, writer of the famously long and dense Infinite Jest, <laughs> which is a book I never want to read. Everyone I know who's read it has said, it's fine. <laughs> um, but it also has a very super secret special feature. That is a photocell sensor. And you can toggle this to the right and have the light control the delay time. I'm going to start at normal. I am going to um, play with this, one of my favorite pedals. I know it's, I know I've been talking for a minute, but please be nice because my finger is still cut up from uh, an onion accident. But to be fair, the tortilla soup I made after slicing my finger a smidge, which was completely my fault, really stupid of me, um, hasn't quite fully healed yet, but it's getting there. It's getting there. All right. So you can get down to basically a slap back. Have to shorten the time on that. Did y'all see Dolly Parton was one of the uh, one of the donors for one of the COVID vaccines? God, Dolly, man. I think she's one of the thirty-six. You know what I mean? If you don't know what I mean, that's also fine. Let's see how quick this time gets. Basically not noticeable. Surprising to me that I like this pedal so much because I I tend to like um, delays that you can tap in. You can't tap this in, but I don't really find that I miss. Let's see how long that delay can get. 
Let's turn back that to normal space. Let's see how many repeats it has at noon. Eight-ish. And let's see if it self-oscillates. Yes. I love that. That's always my favorite. I just, mm. Let's just get some mad noise. That's just like a little past three o'clock and it gets to that point where it's almost self oscillating, but it's not. And it's really, really pretty. And I like that. Um, let's see how far the mix gets. So it gets pretty wet, but I wouldn't call that 100%. Uh -huh. If you've been to a Sunday Crush show, you know that I, I do that at least once at the beginning of the set. And then when the drummer Dan does his first hit leading into, or when Jenna starts playing the, the second song, I take my foot off the hold and... Uh, we go to the next song and it just, it, it's fun. It's fun. But let's look at the light sensor. <laughs> the light's actually in a new place versus where it was um, in the V1. Now it's in the center of the eye, which I think is cooler. something so I have a little ring light that I'm using right now I'm going to overexpose this let me see pedals ever has a v2 the delayed foster wallace v2 <laughs> i hope it brings you as much joy as it brings me it is my absolute favorite delay pedal one of my favorite pedals ever i don't know why everyone's snoozing on bookworm effects i think brian over there is making some of the most exciting stuff hands down right now for like a small builder, especially a one person shop. So, uh, yeah, thank you, Brian, for uh, sending me this DFW. I'm not done making content with it, but, uh, and I'm not done making music with it. 
Um, if you do want to buy a DFW Delete with Foster Wallace, please check out the link in the video description. It goes to Reverb.com. That's where Brian's official shop lives. And if you use our link, we get 1% back on your purchase. It costs you zero extra dollars. And um, that same goes with the DistroKid link down there. Um, you save 7% on your first year of DistroKid, which is already quite affordable. And it helps support the channel because we do get a little bit back on that as well. Just easy ways to support the channel doing things you might have already thought about doing. If you don't want to do that, that's cool. I understand. Um, but please like, comment, subscribe below, tell your friends, check out the podcast, watch our other demos, etc. Yada, 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 yada. Until next time, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Stay safe. My name is Emily. Goodbye.